Welcome to the Dimensions CM Deployment Getting Started Guide. We're going to look at a quick, from scratch, creating a deployment. So we're going to do that with a brand new stream. And I'll make this an empty stream. Create that area. Now I'm going to create the work area. So the work area I'm going to create is under C work streams. This could be any location on any disk. As long as you have read and write access to it. And it's empty. So I'm going to create this work area here. I'll just create a couple of text files in here. Okay, and we will now open that stream. And I'll assign that work area to the stream. We've got a couple of files to deliver, so let's go ahead and deliver them. So now let's create a deployment area. So I'm going to go under Area Definitions, Areas. Click on a new deployment area. DP1 area. And I'm going to get that to point to my local node. You could of course have a remote node. And at this point, I'm going to create a brand new directory called C Work Areas Deploy One. And for this, I'm going to define the listener user DMSYS and the DMSYS password. I'm going to def define the dev stage ID. So this is all working under the CM typical base database. Now at this point, we go back to the client and we simply assign that deployment area so you can see I've selected deployment areas assign from the drop down we select our new area and I'm going to nominate to populate it which will then populate the area with the items that are currently within the stream and here we can see the two items have automatically been populated so let's just see what's happened there because it all happened so quickly. If I go to the deployment tab, and if I go under dev and my DP1 area, just to filter that out, we can indeed see that the two files have been deployed, hello1 and hello2. And I can click on the event result and see actually what happened under the covers. So it's copied this file to this location at this version. So that is simply a deployment. So let's just uh, make this a little bit more complicated. So in Explorer, I'm going to now make a modification. So I'll make a copy of. hello one and give it the name of hello three so effectively creating a new file I'm going to edit so make a modification to it in other words I'm going to rename hello one to have a new name. So let's now go back and we shall deliver those changes. Click on next. See some changes have been made.
Now let's see what happens in the deployment area. And again, we have those same changes reflected. If we go back into deployment, we can now see that there have been some additional deployment steps. A file has been renamed. A file has been added. Modified version has been added. And because the rename meant that the old file that had been deployed out needed to be deleted, that has actually been deleted as well and is no longer available on the system. So this concludes our brief and quick look at getting started quickly with a Dimension CM deployment.